Never Stop Learning Week 296, we're going to take a quick look at the Blend Tool with Gradients in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so if you take a look at my screen, this is the effect we're going for. Now, this isn't something you're going to use every day, but I did want to show you this exercise. So maybe you'll look at the Blend Tool and Gradients in a different way, and you'll come up with a new technique for your workflow. I also wanted to give a big shout out to Mr. Carlos Garro. Thank you very much for coming onto my Twitch channel this week and showing me how this works so that I come back today and create this video. All right, I'm gonna jump into a different artboard and show you how this works. Now, this is all based off of small circles and a blend. All right, so I'm gonna hit the L key on my keyboard. That's gonna bring up the ellipse tool. I'll click once on my document and in this window, I'm gonna enter in a 50 pixel value for the width and 50 pixels for the height. All right, now that I'm ready to go, I'm gonna click OK. Now it's gonna create a small circle for me there. I'm gonna zoom in on that. And I wanna make some changes to the appearance here. All right, so I'm gonna hit the X key to bring up the stroke. I'll hit the forward slash key to get rid of that stroke. Then I'm gonna hit the X key to activate the fill again. Then the period key to fill it in with a gradient and to bring up the gradient panel. Over here on the right, I'm gonna double click on this black color stop and I'm gonna go with cyan. All right, click to get rid of that guy. Click to create a new stop. Double click to change the color and I'm gonna go with the dark blue. All right, same thing goes for this. Instead of white, I'm gonna go with magenta. All right, so I've got my new gradient set up. I'm gonna get rid of my gradient panel. Now I need to make some copies of this guy. So I'm gonna hit the V key to activate the selection tool. Make sure you have a selection. Now when you hover over your object, hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC. Now you see this double arrow. I'm gonna click and drag to create a copy. Hold down the Shift key to keep things nice and straight, then release. All right, so now I have two identical circles here. Now don't make any moves at all. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna hit Command D a couple times. Notice it makes some copies of that circle for me. All it's doing is duplicating the transformation. All right, so I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, I've got 20 circles here that I'm gonna use for my blend. I wanna make sure I select them all. Now, before I create my blend, I wanna set up my blend options. Over here in the object menu, I'm gonna scroll down to find blend and then choose blend options. All right, click on that once. Now I'm gonna make some changes in here for spacing. Instead of smooth color, I'm gonna go with specified steps. And instead of eight, I'll go with 100. All right, orientation is gonna be fine at align to page and then click okay. Notice there's no changes here because we actually have to create the blend now. Over here at the top, we go to object, scroll down to find blend again, and then we find make. Notice there's also a keyboard shortcut of Command Option B. If you're on a Windows machine, it's gonna be Control Alt B. All right, I'll click on that once, wait a second, and then it creates that blend for me. So we're blending one circle onto the next. All right, if I select this, notice there's a straight line going through it. That's the spine for this. All right, I'm gonna make a copy of this just in case I need one later. I wanna create a new spine and then replace it. All right, so I'm gonna hit the N key on my keyboard. That brings up the pencil tool. Then I'm gonna hit the D key. That brings back the default appearance of a white fill with a black stroke. Now I'm just gonna click and drag, create a little loop, and I'm done. All right, this is gonna be my new spine here. I'll hit the V key so I could select my blend and my new spine. Now let's go into the object menu at the top, scroll down to find blend, and then choose this option here, replace spine. Clicking on that once is gonna replace that blend into this new spine here. All right, I'll deselect so you can see how cool that looks. Now you can make another change. I'm gonna select this guy here, go into the object menu, find blend, and then go with reverse spine. All right, now it looks like the lighting changed. It looks like it's coming from a different direction. And there's a bunch of different changes you could do to get different effects here. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the Blend Tool with Gradients in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.